All right. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the things that you want, you might want to look at when you go into Google Classroom and you should really be checking Google Classroom every single day um, along with your Gmail. So what I mean by that is that when you sign into Google Classroom, it'll be with your deltalearns.ca account and you will see uh, our class here. This is not our class, but I had to create this. So this is on the student side. This is what you would actually see. All your classes would be lined up here. Um, and sometimes in this space here, you'll see uh, different assignments that you have coming up. So things that you should currently be working on or things that are coming up. So if there's an assignment here, then it would show up as a link and you would just click on it. Down here, you can see that it says, open your work for homeschool. Uh, in this case, you know, it could be anything that you know, depends on what class you're in. It would say open your work for whatever. Um, and then this icon here will open up your Google Drive folder so you can see all the stuff in that folder. Usually you don't need to go into there because you can do everything through Google Classroom. There's also this three dots here, which gives you some options. Please don't unenroll from any class because that will cause some complications. I've had students do that accidentally before and then uh, end up not being able to see any of the assignments coming up. So that's not good. Okay. So I would leave this button alone. Okay. So when you go to Google Classroom, you should always uh, check uh, of, on any assignments that you have in here. One way to quickly do that is to click on this one here, open your work for homeschool. And uh, I've created this student named Thanos. Um, Thanos is not doing super well, although he's got 75%, so I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, but I wouldn't mess with Thanos anyway. But this is a, a summary of everything that Thanos has done in this class. Um, you can see the filters are things that are assigned. Assigned means that it was given to the student. Um, return with grade means things that were returned by me to you. So things that I've marked uh, would be under that category. And then most importantly, uh, or somewhat most importantly, the things that are missing. So Thanos had n has not turned in any of these things. And that's why they have a red missing beside them. These are things that you have to address right away before you fall too far behind. Okay. So that's one way to view everything. Another way is to just go to the class, homeschool, and then go to the to-do list. It's so useful, but uh, I'm trying to encourage students to use it. Some students still don't use it. <clears throat> if you click on to-do, it actually shows you not just the one class, but all the classes you're enrolled in. Um, in this student example that I created, there's only one class. But in actual fact, if there are multiple classes enrolled, all of the to-dos for that, those classes would show up here. So all the assignments that are missing, um, things that are coming up, those would show up here. And then you've got a separate list called Done. When you click on this, these are all of the things that have been already dealt with. So things that have been turned in, like this one here, but not marked, or turned in and given a mark, okay? So there's your to-do list. Very, very handy. And you can filter this by class as well. If you click on this, usually if you have more than one class, then you just click on the class and it'll just show all of the to-dos just for that one class. Um, otherwise, if you show all classes, then depending on how much stuff you have, um, it'll be a long list. So it's really important that you go through each one of these items, check to make sure it's complete and then turn them in. For example, if I click on digital literacy here, which is an example that I made up, um, here's the assignment. Make sure you read the instructions, uh, look at any materials that are attached and follow that, and then click mark as done if you're finished, okay? Um, or if you need to add something, you can click on add. You can add Google Drive file, a link, or file from your computer or create any new files, okay? And usually it's just these three up here. And then you click mark as done, and then it's done. Sometimes it'll say turn in, uh, but that's basically the same thing. 